Now to this blessing just in time for the holidays. Jeff McAdam, a former Fox 11 reporter, has spent the last several months fighting a very rare form of cancer. This summer, the 39-year-old husband and father was diagnosed with chordoma, a tumor growing on his cervical vertebrae and his neck. Well, this week he finished his 35th radiation treatment in San Diego, and thanks to new cutting-edge technology, he has been deemed cured, but not cancer-free. Still, of course, this is wonderful news that we are so happy to celebrate tonight. Jeff and his beautiful wife, Danica, join me now. I, I'm so happy to see you, if only virtually. I'm sending you <laughs> hugs. Thank you for being with me tonight. So great to see you, Marla. Yeah, feeling feel the love. Miss you guys up there in L.A. We're not too far away down, down here in San Diego. You are in happy to celebrate. Yes, you, know? you are. And we're so happy. Congratulations. Cordoma is so rare, literally one in a million. You two scoured the country looking for answers and ended up right back in San Diego where you live. How did that happen? Yeah. Yeah, she's always said I was one in a million, you know? <laughs> so it uh, turns, out she, was, <laughs> it turns right. out she was right. I picked them right, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you know, initially we had done the surgery at Scripps down here in San Diego, and the surgery was to go in and get as much of the tumor as possible. They got 80% of it out, 20% of it was still left. And so then came the question, can can more be gotten out and, and or do we just move on to radiation at that point um and so there is the cordoma foundation for something that's so rare it's incredible that there is a foundation for it and they gave us this cheat sheet these this top gun list the best surgeons the the best radiation oncologist in the country for where i have it and so we kind of like set off on that path and every place that we went to we we're like it's this is great md anderson rhode island uh boston this is great but San, you know, we quickly realized San Diego is, is second to none. Uh, the technology, the proton machine they have is uh, outstanding. It's one of the newest ones in the country. And so after that, you know, that journey, this is where we ended up. Yeah, we're very blessed to be here. I mean, it feels like, you know, as journalists, we move all over the country for work. And that's what we did for our careers for a long time, well over a decade. And we ended up in San Diego. And now we're, we're technically in Temecula. So we're just about an hour north. But maybe it was meant to be that we were here in some way yeah. so it feels like the right thing yeah and i should mention that yes danica you too were a fabulous uh reporter <laughs> as well and of course then you documented your journey i followed along with everyone else here and hopefully our viewers did too on social media we got to see your kids of course have to endure this as well landon and goldine they're so beautiful um why do you why was it so important for you to share publicly and how did that help danica yeah, I think a big part of it was just we've lived in so many different places. As journalists, we've moved all over the country. I'm from Burbank originally. Um, and then, you know, he and I, as journalists, were reporting in different cities everywhere. And so we just have this amazing group yeah. and network of friends. And so they were all reaching out to us and asking us, you know, how are things going? And an email just didn't really seem to get the message across. So our medium, if you will, is television and telling stories and so we decided that that would be the best you know choice to communicate what's going on with jeff and jeff i felt like just did like such a special job with how he explained everything to everyone and really went into detail on what we were experiencing and people really seemed to appreciate what we were doing and it felt good yeah, it's always kind of cool when two r reporters can you know work on one assignment together yeah. and i think yeah. uh, was obviously something that we were passionate about and i think people that resonated with people and we had we were overwhelmed by the support that we had and almost felt like it was an obligation to keep people updated but in a wonderful way and for our kids too you know jeff and i talked about this earlier like they'll be able to in the future go back and see these videos and see what mom and dad did to keep dad healthy and strong and live as long as possible because that's obviously our goal is to keep Jeff around forever. Uh, uh, well, of course. And, and, and Jeff, you rang that bell this week. Again, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. Cure but not cancer free. So, what does the future look like? Yeah, good question. Uh, I think the, you know people are sometimes con confused. What is, how is you? How are you cure but not cancer free? Uh, you know, they 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 this cordoma got sent to the ground. It's a boxy match. It got you know it's it's on the ground right now. It's it's hopefully down for the count. But a lot of times with Cordoma, they get back up. And so is it five years from now? Is it 20 years from now? They're so rare. There's just not a lot of data statistics to really know for sure. And especially where I have it, this is even more rare. 
So they feel really good. Cured means they've stopped it in its tracks. That 20% that I've left is stopped in its tracks. Mm -hmm. The hope is it just stays that way forever. And I'll be doing scans every three to six months, probably for the rest of my life, or at least for the first five years, and then you know they'll space it out. Um, and uh, and they'll keep looking, and if they start to see it progress, then obviously they'll know that it's it's back. And let's right. see what else we can do. Okay, we're praying that that doesn't happen. Well, we will be following your journey, and we want our viewers to too. We just had your social media handles up there, but I just want to oh. say it really quickly: at Danica <laughs> TV News and at Jeff McAdam TV. Give them a follow and follow along. And again, congratulations! So good to see you, and be well. Thank you, Thank Marla, you. for the okay, opportunity. Love you too. Our health is our wealth. We know that. Oh, my goodness. It's so great to talk to them. Two world-class storytellers and two world-class people. Mm -hmm. uh, love seeing Truly. them. All right. Much more news ahead in the 630.